You guys are going to have to ask questions because it's very frustrating to me. It's not the kind of game we want to play, not the way we want to guard people. They shoot 15 free throws in the second half. So you guys better come up with some really good questions. You always like to say that uh, things are always better when the ball goes in the basket. Uh, how much better was it for you to see Kenny get the ball to go in the basket? Well, I told him yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I stopped because one time Andrew got lost, Kenny helped him. B-Rock got lost, Kenny helped him. And then the guy drove the basket, Kenny crossed the lane. And I said, guys, he, I'm going to play him forever. <laughs> yes, I'd like him to make a jump shot before I die, is what I told him. And he did. I'm appreciative of that. But uh, no, I wasn't really worried about his shot. And, uh, or did he end up uh, two for three from three? Yeah. But just you look at his stat sheet, it's not bad. Four for six, two for three, two for two from foul and four this one turnover. But it was frustrating in the second half. We didn't guard them. Uh, they switched every screen and act like we had never seen them before in our lives. Again, I'd rather you all ask questions because I'm really glad did right now. Roy, the, the best thing that ever happened to my team is we don't have practice tomorrow. Roy, the, the Elon game. Elon shot very well in the first half, played better defensively. Where is this team at defensively right now? How many Division One teams are there? I mean, it used to be 351. Red Frederick told me there are more than that now. Close to that. And then we're close to 351. I mean, think about the other night. Elon did miss a bunch of shots. They had some wide open shots, too. But they, they just, I'm not very happy right now. But uh, I thought in that Wofford game, we were really attentive details on the defensive end. We were really uh, had some enthusiasm on the defense at the end of the day. It was like mad at the way. just run out there and let him drive right by you. And, uh, it was it was very frustrating, yet I finally just said in the locker room, I'm going to shut up. I'm not going to say any more until I see the tape. And then I might say a lot more. Maybe I'm wrong. Did you see it in the first half, too, or was it primarily the second? I didn't like what we did in the first half, either. But uh, they missed, you go back and look, guys, they missed a lot of shots. I mean, we missed a ton from two feet ourselves. And that's concentration. It's you got to be able to compete every single day. And I was not real happy. No, it's better, but I am not happy at all. Uh, but the good news is, uh, I'm not going to stay awake all night. I'll stay awake most of the night, but not all night. But uh, we got to get better defensively. You can't give somebody 15 free throws in the second half. And the thing too is, points off offensive rebounds. North Carolina does that say 10, Steve? Sorry, yes, sir. And it says 11 for them. Come on. Better there too, but it's the reason it's long season. Not the reason, but thank goodness it's long season. I'd be a terrible football coach if I had to wait a week before we played again. <laughs> Your second half disappointment was it more in the attention to detail or effort? Uh, having a brain, attention to detail, I effort sometimes because we didn't push the ball very hard. We jogged it up the court, didn't get back on the defense. So it was a lot of a lot of negative stuff. Anybody else? What, what did you like? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what I wanted to say, too. <laughs> That's what, exactly the way I felt during the game. Yes, sir, John. I mean, if there was anything, what did you like? If there was, was it just, every, it just opened Kenny's shot out. went in, so, you know, that'll, uh, I don't, I really don't think he worried about it either, but that probably made him feel a little bit better. Uh, I like the way the crowd reacted when he took the basket the first time and, and made the layup. And then, Made the three, and then three made in the second half. That was the old king because he just knew he was going to knock it in. So I like that part of it. Uh, but if we want to be really good, like you say, we got to have a lot more pride defensively. We didn't have very much pride defensively. Okay. I mean, what they shoot? Uh, uh, let's see, 35 in the first half, 44 in the second half, and they missed their last three of their last four shots, or four of their last five shots. I think it's the second year Cam's had eight rebounds. He had five and 17 minutes here tonight. Is what is the difference between him so far through three games while he's getting two awards? Well, he's he's got to do that. I mean, uh, we, we don't have Bryce Johnson. That was just a natural rebounder. Kennedy Meeks. That's just a natural rebounder. Isaiah Hicks. It was just a natural rebounder. Much less John or Tyler. Those kind of guys. So we got to get more rebounding, more help on the boards from our two three men. But we got to get to the offensive boards too. And I think. Uh, I don't have the first half. I think we had 11 offensive rebounds. We had eight. eight. So we had 13, so we had five in the whole second half. So we got, if we want, again, if we really want to be good, we've got to, I'll use your state, more attention to detail. Uh, I don't think they loafed, but they weren't, you know, what, 
10 on a scale of 1 to 10. It was more pedestrian. You spoke in the preseason about uh, Leakey's versatility. Um, we've seen him already at mm -hmm. three positions now. How do you think he's done at that? And, and what does that entail for a player, especially a newcomer, to have to learn more than one position? Uh, this you know, I told him the other night, uh, and it was a little, it's not quite valid, but in the game against Elon, he played five. He's the only player I've ever coached that in a game. In his first three games, he's played one, two, three, four, five. I've never had a player like that. So that's very positive. But it was. I mean, come on, it wasn't game time. Locked down, you got to stop them to get a win. But uh, he's tremendously intelligent, has an innate ability, instinctive ability to make the right plays. He's going to be a really, really good basketball player. And, uh, you know, some guys right now have got to step ahead and say, I'm ahead, instead of everybody acting like they're all the same. Thanks, so everybody. He's really good. Thank you. Thank you.